My name is Jason DeLeon. I am an assistant professor of anthropology at the University of Michigan, and I direct the Undocumented Migration Project. The Undocumented Migration Project is a long-term anthropological analysis of clandestine migration between Latin America and the United States. It draws on the four fields of anthropology, archaeology, forensic science, linguistics, and sociocultural anthropology to understand the violence that occurs systematically as people try to migrate clandestinely into the United States. So I'm actually an interloper here at the AAPAs. Um, I'm trained as an archaeologist and starting around 2008, 2009, I became increasingly interested in sociocultural anthropology uh, and ethnography. I would say the most difficult thing for me in the beginning was, number one, I, I started at UCLA as an undergraduate uh, anthro major and I really had fallen in love with Indiana Jones and I really wanted to do field work and and then I was just exposed to it in such boring horrible kinds of ways. I'm, I was such a terrible undergraduate student. I mean I flunked intro to archaeology, I got C's in intro to bioanthro and intro to, to sociocultural anthropology. Uh, I was a horrible horrible student uh, and I think part of it was because as exciting as a discipline is I don't think we're oftentimes very good at selling it to the public and making it, we, I mean we're, we, we make it um, sometimes inaccessible. And so for me, kind of getting over the, the hump of the, of the not so pleasant introduction to the discipline and then actually finding that it was the exciting place I wanted it to be um, took a little bit of, of help. And I had great undergraduate mentors at UCLA who, um, you know, took me aside and they said, look, you, you've got a mohawk, you're, you're wearing kind of raggedy clothes, you probably stink. Um, or you're hungover, um, but come and work in my lab, let's go do field work, let's find things that will get you excited about, about anthropology and, um, and see if it sticks. And so for me it was really having those mentors to, to do that and to take me into the field and to really kind of turn my life around. Um, that was, it, without them I, I wouldn't be sitting here today. One thing that, that I've learned over the years doing this work is that um, I sort of went into it with this kind of doom and gloom perspective. I mean, undocumented migration is a brutal, horrifying, painful experience for people who go through it. But at the same time, by lo when you look at it, you meet some of the most resilient, positive people. Um, you meet people who um, have to put a good spin on the situation that they're in because they, they tell you if you don't, you're not going to make it through. And so for me, I love field work because um, I love being around people. Um, I think I'm really good at hanging, I'm actually pretty good at ha hanging out. I'm really good at drinking beer and spending hours and hours talking about nothing with people, uh, partly because I really just want to be there with folks. And that's, for me, the love of field work is, is that kind of human interaction. And the fact that I do work on things that are um, really difficult and, um, and um, kind of painful, it, it doesn't mean that there's not a lot of joy and kind of laughter in that as well, because the people that I've, that I've been privileged to work with over the years are incredibly funny. I mean, I've um, much of what I write about in my, in my recent book is about how migrants tell stories about their experiences through the lens of humor. And you know, you don't expect to have someone talk about a border crossing and then have it just be full of, of jokes um, and um, just moments where someone is telling me about when they almost died in the desert, and at the same time, we're all laughing hysterically, we're crying. Um, because it, the, because the way it's being told is in, is incredibly um, you know humorous and for me that's what I really love about um, about anthropology is that it, it gets me I mean I would never have that understanding without without spending time with folks because my own perspective of it from from, as from the outside is that it is a horrifying terrible experience and there's and there there is no humor in it uh, so so getting that close to people really I think highlights the um, the nuances of it and actually like any like, you know, humans are complicated creatures, and so they, they talk about these things in really complicated ways, and, uh, and I love being able to have the, the privilege to, to hear those stories and to, 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 to spend time with those folks. Uh, you know, I think bioanthropology has the same challenges that archaeology has at the moment, um, and that is with d increasing diversity. Um, you know, sociocultural anthropology, we, we tend to do better in, in having a more diverse set of participants and, and you know, people involved in this, in this project. There are, more, there are definitely more people of color doing sociocultural anthropology. Um, in archaeology, I mean, we struggle to get um, um, 
underrepresented people involved in, um, in that organization. I'm, I'm heavily involved with the minority scholarships program there. Um, and I think many of those same issues that we see there with um, getting people excited about um, disciplines that traditionally have not had people of color is something that, um, that both archaeology and bioanthro are, are, are working, working on right now. Thank you.